Hi everyone. My name is Rajat. Today's topic is how to open multiple instances of Microsoft Teams at the same time. We understand that sometime we have to run multiple instances of Microsoft Teams at the same time due to different reasons. One of the possible reason could be if we have to switch back and forth to multiple screens with the multiple instances you can do that even if you want to see multiple channels at the same time to do multiple works with multiple instances it helps you to navigate easily basically microsoft team is an is a desktop application and unfortunately you can't able to run multiple instances of the same desktop application as it said when there is a will then there is a way and i know you guys are really hard working starving to success very much keen to get the job done and always out there to find a solution so there is an alternative or you can say there is a way which allows to run multiple instances at the same exact same time so let me quickly take you to the solution now i like to switch over to the system so here we are we can see the microsoft team desktop application open in my system in general cases to open two different instances if you go to any kind of application like uh, excel powerpoint word or even web browsers you can just go to the application right click and click on the same application and it will open up two different instances but with microsoft team this is not the case when you try to open it it will not create a new instance there is always a single instance so the problem comes when you need to navigate between two different channels then you cannot do that with the same single instance to overcome that the option what we have is we can go to any browser like either you go to edge or you go to chrome so when you open the browser you go to the teams site and then log in with your credentials now you can see we have two different instances at the same time in one instance you can use do a chat or another one to do a call so in both ways you can utilize the two uh, different instances to get your work done if you see the desktop application the look and feel is something like what our desktop application will be look like but if you go to microsoft teams of web browser it will look like a web browser itself it will not act like a app we have to go to the right hand side click on the more option the dot 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 and then we can directly go to more tools and we create a shortcut right now i am in the chrome browser so we are creating the web app shortcut in chrome app now i'm trying to give a name to the app i'm creating for example chrome teams i'll create this shortcut and then if i minimize all of these then i can see that there is a team shortcut is there and you can see the name is microsoft teams chrome teams now you can see that we have desktop application of teams we have web browser application of the teams and then we have a shortcut so if i go to the shortcut and open it i can see there are multiple instances can be managed we can again go to the chrome browser the same more option and you can see now once we created a shortcut 
there is something called open in Microsoft team is coming up here uh, once you click on this the web browser come out and act like a Windows application now we have two different instances of Microsoft teams if you go to edge and you open the teams then we can get the same more options is there and we can go to the app section and we can create it like install this as an app I like to give a name to this this app name will be more like edge teams so you can see that through edge browser we have also created one more instance of Microsoft Teams now we have three different instances all right this is a small tutorial to open multiple instances of Microsoft team if you find this video helpful please like and share the video if you want to see more helpful video like this in the future don't forget to hit the subscribe button once you subscribe you get notifications when we upload same kind of helpful videos in the future if you have any specific questions you can comment below and I will read and answer them to the best possible way thanks for watching see you next time